Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, this video is very very important because here I am going to discuss TCS ITP 10th of July 2022 aptitude question. That means today's TCS ITP examination. So whatever aptitude questions were asked, that I am going to discuss, and you can also see I have put some screenshot. So these are the actual question which was asked in the examination. Okay, so that is today exam. Now. so without wasting any time let us start with the question number 1 but before that i wanted to tell you friends so this year so particularly in tcs 2022 itp exam so itp exam is not very very tough the level is easy okay the level is easy here now so once we will solve the question you will be able to understand so question number 1 three women a b and c met each other in a shopping mall they visited the mall in 15 18 and 21 days respectively after how many days will they meet each other in the mall okay now so basically there are three women are there so a is visiting the mall in 15 days okay b is visiting the mall in 18 days and c is visiting the mall in 21 days so what has been asked to you so after how many days will they be able to meet each other so that is nothing but you have to take the lcm okay and there are many question based on this so one traffic light okay so you might have seen that kind of question so a traffic light the first traffic lights glows in suppose 2 minutes 15 second second traffic lights glows in 4 minute third traffic lights glows in suppose 6 minute so when they will glow each other so you have to take the lcm similar thing here you have to do 15 18 and 21 so this is 3 5 ja is 15 3 6 ja 18 and 3 7 ja 21 So three into five, fifteen. Fifteen into six, ninety, and ninety into seven will be six hundred and thirty. So after six hundred and thirty days, they will be able to meet each other. So from here you can decide the level of the question was very very easy. I will not say it was tough. It was damn easy question which was asked in the examination. Now similarly question number two. So if Z is equals to five, then one. Divided by one minus one divided by one plus five by z. They are clearly telling, "Bhaiya, z is equals to five." Okay, z is equals to five. So one divided by one minus one divided by one plus five divided by z. Z is nothing but five. So five and five will get cancelled. It will give you one. So one divided by one minus one divided by so one plus one will become two. now 1 divided by 1 minus half will be nothing but half this 2 will go up and it will come here so 2 will become the correct answer now you tell me is this a difficult problem all this problem can be easily solved within 30 seconds okay study also i had made one video and i had showed you how you can solve within uh, 30 seconds right okay so all these questions we are going to solve within 30 seconds itself no need to worry and even no need of using pen and paper for some of the question see 5 by 5 will be 1 now 1 by 2 so half minus 1 will be half so that 2 will go up so 2 will become the correct answer right so these are not the difficult problem my dear friends but see many of you are asking sir when will be the tcs itp examination so on campus is already going on okay and see once the date will be released okay so once will be the date will be released you will not have time to practice you will not have time to prepare so keep preparing the examination has to happen tcs will never cancel the exam so do not worry about that then now the next question so what value will come in the place of question mark you might be able to see so again this also you can easily solve it in 30 seconds if i am taking more than a minute time that means i wanted to make sure everybody a uh, watching my video will be able to understand so here we have 4 by 5 divided by 3 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 is equals to x minus 2 by 3 this question mark i am writing x now 3 3 is a 9 and 1 10 by 3 so 4 by 5 divided by 10 by 3 minus 1 by 5 will be equal to x minus 2 by 3 then so if it is in division 10 by 3 in division and if you will write in terms of multiplication then 3 will go up and 10 will come down these are the basic things which i am telling you if minus 2 by 3 if it will come on the left side it will become plus 2 by 3 is equals to x now 
two twos are and two fives are. So basically now we have three into two is six by 25 minus one by five plus two by three is equals to X. Take LCM, so LCM will be 75, uh, 75, okay now. So 25, three is 75, six into three is 18, five 15 times and 325 times will be 75, 25 into two will be 50 is equals to X. So 68 minus 15 divided by 75 is equals to X. Eight minus five is three and six minus one is five. 53 divided by 75 will be equal to x so 53 divided by 75 option a will be the correct answer are this question tough no sir it is taking more than one minute of time no my dear friends don't say like this see here i am clearly able to see three three is a nine plus one ten by three i will directly write my dear friends four by five into three by ten minus one by five plus two by five is equals to two by three is equals to x so two twos are and two fives are okay now six by 25 the lcm will be 75 the practice is required 25 three times right so three six are 18 and minus 15 and plus 50 so it will be nothing but 53 so this is three and plus 50 53 divided by 75 so 30 second is more than sufficient for the problems we are doing now so question number four so question number four is a very very important question so we will see how to solve it. And then question number five is also a important question from the average. But before that, I wanted to tell you something, friends. Hard work can get you any job, trust me. So hard work, no, it can get you anything. So hard work and success go hand in hand, meaning if you put in the right effort, then opportunities always appear. One such story is of Navneet Reddy, who lives in a small village near Hyderabad. Navneet held from a small village, but his dreams were so big. To fulfill those dreams, he worked hard and today he has taken the job of a software developer in Moing Edge. So you can see, so Navneet Reddy, front end engineer at Moing Edge, okay? And he is from a small village. So friends, trust me, hard work can give you anything. Hard work will get you everything in your life, okay? So he comes from a very humble background and his father is a farmer. When he came to know that his son's job was in a US-based company, which he had only read about in the newspaper, he was very happy. Now, Neet has been uh, inquisitive about technology since childhood. In his childhood, he had an interest in a small TV, remotes to computers. Maybe that's why he went on top of every situation and followed coding, learned a lot about coding, and then it was necessary for them to show their skills by taking a job in a good company. It was one at this time, only at this time, he came to know about Relabel, gave a test, and got a job in the company of his choice within 15 days. 200 plus companies hire from Relabel you are all eligible from anywhere. His achievement is an example of hard work where every person can save his career on his own. Now, Nit saved his career with his hard work. Today, he has made his entire family proud. It's time for you to save your career just like Navneet. There are more than 60 crore worth jobs have been delivered by Relabel. Last month, only 300 plus offers were released. This is the highest across all hiring platforms. And you can see the holdings of a lot of this candidate across India. So I will take you through the holdings. So here you can see uh, in Bangalore, in Chennai, in Dehradun, in Rachi, in Lucknow, in Pune, right, in Kolkata. So uh, they're all holdings are available, right? So Noida, Kolkata, Bangalore, right? So Kolkata, Bangalore, Pune, right? So these people have, their hard work has, given them a beautiful job which they were looking and their holdings are all over the country like bangalore mumbai jaipur kolkata pune and dehradun right so you are able to see so a few days back only relevel introduced a new test for content writing that means now all of you can attempt and get a job through test in 19 categories across sales programming product management analytics hr and many more the link is given in the description and it is completely free to attempt the test career start defines your poor career journey if you also want to start your career from a top company in India like Navneet for want to stay in the same career. The Relevel is the best platform for you. No degree, no experience, pure skills and go see today. So the link will be given in description. So as I said, okay, and here what you can do. So once you click on this link, then you can see there are multiple categories are there here, like business development, business analyst trainee, associate products, right? So HR and talent, operation uh, associate test, digital marketing, graphic designer, financial analyst, project management. So there are multiple, uh, you know, the categories are there where you can select like blockchain developer test, okay? And so business related, development related, testing related, right? 
so everything is there now you can book your slot it is very very easy so you can book for 13th of july or you can select a date you can book for right so any dates you can select and then you can book a test and this is completely free you do not have to pay even a single amount from your pocket okay so i hope this will be clear friends so hard work will definitely get you the job you deserve the job you dream so the link is given in description now so let us see question number 4 so question number 4 here uh right so the value of 7.2 cube so this is basically cube here so yeah so this is basically cube here and this is a square so if you are not able to see friends i wanted to tell you so this is nothing but cube so 7.2 so cube plus 5.4 cube divided by 7.2 square minus 5.4 square and then this part you are able to see so here basically friends so this goes on this formula so a cube plus b cube will be equal to a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square in tcs calculator will be also allowed so a cube so here if we'll try to write then we can write 7 plus 2 plus 5.4 so a plus b into a square so 7.2 square okay 7.2 square minus 7.2 into 5.4 calculator is there so please do not worry about that okay so if the formula is there in your mind then it will become very very simple now a square minus b square so one more formula so a plus b into a minus b so here 7.2 plus 5.4 into 7.2 minus 5.4 okay and here minus so this is a square this we could see a square minus ab so 0.07 into 0.03 so minus ab and plus uh this is nothing but a square is missing here i am really sorry so uh, when i was taking the screenshot so this problem has happened okay so now this is nothing but uh b square here okay so b square and divided by here again a cube plus this will be nothing but b cube okay now so here we can write 0.07 square Minus point zero zero two one plus point zero three square divided by and here a cube plus b cube so point zero seven plus point zero three into same thing we can continue here so this this and this will get cancelled okay now so here also this and this will get cancelled so seven point two square. So seven point two square. If you use calculator, it will be fifty one point eight four minus seven point two into five point four. So it will be thirty eight point eight eight. You are using calculator. Plus five point four square is nothing but twenty nine point one six. Okay, and divided by so twelve minus four is eight, and six minus five is one minus. So one divided by so three seven ten, and one will come here. That's all. So basically, right. so here we could see so 3710 and here one will come so point 1 so point 1 means if it will go up it will become 10 right so if you will remove this then uh, on the top you will be having 10 right okay so now minus and if you will try to solve this using calculator you will be getting 23.4 so basically 13.4 will be the correct answer okay so in tcs you remember that calculator will be allowed so you do not have to worry about anything okay now now friends question number 5 so the average cost of the article p q r and s is 204 so average will be equal to sum divided by number simple formula okay then sum will be equal to what average into number right okay so the average cost of the article p q r and s is 204 so i will directly calculate sum p plus q plus r plus s sum will be equal to average so average is my dear friends nothing but 204 and number is nothing but 4 because p q r s okay now so 4 4 ja 16 and 4 2 ja 8 okay this is one of the equation done now the average of p q is uh, it is 1 not 2 so there is one small correction here okay so 1 not 2 so the average of p q is 1 not 2 so sum will be nothing but pq will be uh, average into number so 1 not 2 into 2 so this will become 204 
and the average of qr is 132 so q plus r sum will be equal to average into number so 2 to the 4 and 13 into 2 will be 16 so this is my equation 3 this is my equation 2 okay so here there was a small mistake was there 102 okay so by mistake i had written 120 now so we have got three equation then what they are telling if the cost of article q if the cost of article q is the average of p and r average of p and r means so p plus r divided by 2 okay so 2q will be equal to p plus r this is my equation 4 now what i will do so i will add 2 plus 3 there are multiple ways you can do so i am going to add 2 plus 3 so p plus q plus q plus r will be equal to 204 plus 264 So this is nothing but four four eight four hundred and sixty eight, and P plus two Q right, two Q plus R, and here we know two Q will be equal to P plus R. Okay, is equals to four hundred and sixty eight. So two P plus two R is equals to four sixty eight. So P plus R will be equal to if we we'll divide by two, then two hundred and thirty four. If I am not wrong right so p plus r is nothing but here so 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 and 2 4 is a 8 2 3 4 now what you do so this p plus r you put in equation 1 why because they wanted the average cost of q and s the average cost of q and s so p plus okay q plus r plus s is equals to 816 now p plus r So P plus R is 234 plus Q plus S is 816. Now Q plus S will be equal to 816 minus 234. 6 minus 4 is 2. 11 minus 3 is 8. And 7 minus 2 is 5. So Q plus S. Now they wanted average. So just divide by 2. So 29 times is 58 and 2 ones are 2. So here 291. That means option 4. will be the correct answer so friends don't say this problem is tough because i am doing a step by step i am telling you you can do like this you can do like that so everything has been covered and that's how the length of the problem is increasing so friends if you like this video then please do comment i'll be making more and more videos so do not wait for the exam date you keep your preparation so that at the end moment when everybody will be preparing you will be just revising so if you have not subscribed to our channel yet please do subscribe and click on bell icon so that you get all the notification thank you